Hi everyone. Doing a guided meditation for abundance. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Um, I kept thinking it was Friday though, which is kind of a bummer because it's Thursday. <laughs> So today's guided meditations focus will be on abundance. Hi, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, today's guided meditation is focused on abundance and I'm focusing on abundance because it's good, <laughs> but also because um, it's almost the fall equinox, it's almost Maybon um, and the Northern Hemisphere at least, that'll be next. Thursday, which is September 22nd. I'm really excited for Maybon and the Fall Equinox, and um, I'm really excited for Fall Flow, which is happening next Friday on September 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Fall Flow is going to be a celebration of autumn and a celebration of Maybon, where we're going to be doing a yoga asana flow, some meditation, some breath work and just some reflection about the upcoming um, darker part of the wheel of the year. We're returning the, the wheel into longer nights and smaller days and maybe lower energy. For me, I feel higher energy, but. All right, let's jump into this abundance meditation. I'm gonna play some music. Last time it was pretty loud, so <laughs> I listened back and thought, oh, that's pretty loud, so. Hopefully that sounds okay, but I'll invite you to close your eyes if it feels safe and comfortable. If not, you can um, soften your gaze or look at the tip of your nose. <sighs> Just take a moment here to breathe in, in through your nose and maybe out through your nose or your mouth. Feeling the air fill up your lungs and your belly. Noticing what's present in the body. What's present emotionally, especially if we've had a long day or any day. We have those energies of the day stuck with us, the energy of others stuck with us. Sometimes we tend to think that this like stressful, go, go, go energy is what our baseline is or what our energy is. Maybe your energy is very high naturally, but I don't think that stressed out feeling is what your energy is naturally. So I'm just inviting you here to return to that natural space. And just like we did last week, I'll invite us to do a body scan breathing in deeply and starting to scan the body from the top of the head down to the bottom of the body. Allowing your attention to focus on the top of your head, the center of your head. Moving down to your forehead, letting the forehead relax. The eyebrows soften. Instead of squeezing the eyelids closed, how can we just soften the eyelids? The sinuses. The jaw, releasing all the stored up tension that we often have in the jaw. Relaxing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Mm -hmm. 
allowing your breath to slow down here as you relax down the neck. And maybe you let your shoulders go up, back, and down, creating more space between the shoulders and the ears. Relaxing the traps in the shoulders. Letting every exhale, let, allowing you to feel heavier and heavier, more and more relaxed. And I'll invite you to breathe into the chest. Noticing any tension or constriction or any emotions. Moving down into the belly, relaxing the belly, perhaps directing the belly or the breath there down from the chest and into the belly. Relaxing the lower back. Relaxing the sacrum area the hips, allowing the seat to feel heavy, really noticing where your seat connects with the chair or the earth or the ground below you. And same as you relax the thighs, allowing them to get heavy, Relaxing the knees and the shins and the calves. And then paying attention to your feet, which are really quite miraculous if you think about it. These small things supporting your whole body. And in this hopefully relaxed space, I'll invite you to bring your attention back to your heart space. And I'd like to invite you to think of something that you feel grateful for. It could be a person, or it could be a thing, or a situation. But as you breathe in, and maybe you put a hand on your heart, Allow yourself to feel this gratitude or relive this experience like it's happening over to you again. Noticing any resistance, if you have any, to focusing on the heart. That's totally normal. Only do what you feel comfortable doing as you envision this person or situation that you're so grateful for. I'd like to invite you to start to imagine a light in the center of your chest and this light could be whatever color that you'd like sometimes I imagine pink or a warm white or yellow or green whatever resonates with you imagining this light in the center of your chest and as you inhale, the light grows ever so slightly. And as you exhale, it shrinks. So focusing on this breath as the ball in the center of your chest grows with every inhale and shrinks with every exhale.
and knowing that if it's hard to connect to this heart energy, this heart space, you're not alone. And we're also taught to not connect to our heart. So it's okay if it's hard. And maybe imagine that that ball of light is tingling and warming. Perhaps still thinking about the people or person or situation that you're grateful for to help you connect to this place. Then I'll invite you to begin to imagine that this ball of light kind of breaks into a, a general energy that spreads throughout your chest. With every exhale, this light grows, winding down the torso and down the spine. down to the root and through the hips and down the legs into the feet as you feel this heart warm love energy in your feet and imagine it rising through your shoulders down your arms into your hands And then up your neck and into your head space. Noticing the difference between the energy of your heart and the energy of the anxious mind or the busy mind that might be there. Allowing that calming, slow, gentle energy to relax the mind. like to invite you to reflect on what abundance feels like in the body. This feeling of love and expansion and gratitude, centeredness. What does that feel like if you had to describe it? And if your abundance had a physicality or a persona, a color, what would it look like? What would your abundance look like? And if it was a version of you, this could be like a higher self, what would the most abundant version of you look like? holding their body, where are they? And is there anything that this abundant self wants to tell you? Any lessons you can learn from them? attention back to the breath, allowing that imagery to drop away, and I'd like to ask you if you feel any constriction or the opposite of abundance in your body, maybe scarcity in your body, worry, fear, like the feeling of grasping. 
Or if you don't feel it now, where have you felt that previously or recently? How have you been acting in that scarcity-minded way, that constricted feeling way? What thought patterns usually arise when you're in that constricted scarcity energy? For me, that looks like just being in my head. And if scarcity had a personified image, a color, a version of you, what would that look like? And imagining this version of yourself isn't to judge it. It's to just notice it so that you can notice it in your day-to-day -day life. And just like you invited your abundant self to speak to you, how can you invite this scarcity self to speak to you now? Maybe telling you something that it needs from you. And come back to your breath now. Allowing that image of scarcity to fade away. Returning your attention back to the breath, in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth. Just notice how you feel for a moment here. If you feel different than when we started. Maybe bringing your attention back to the heart space. Maybe setting an intention for yourself for now or for this upcoming season. Before you open your eyes, I'll invite you to start to do some gentle movements, rolling the neck, rubbing the hands together maybe, maybe even touching any parts of your body, giving gentle rubs to the arms, or pressing into the thighs. Shaking anything out if you need to. <sighs> and when that feels ready, go ahead and slowly open your eyes whenever you're ready. Awesome. Thank you for doing that guided scarcity slash abundance meditation. I hope it helped you connect to this version of you that feels confident and grateful and heart-centered and kind of feels like a higher self even. Sometimes when we manifest, we really, or do that process of calling something in, we are focusing on what we don't have um, and really wanting the thing that we don't have, which is totally okay. It's okay to want more and it's okay to want things. It's okay to want situations to happen, um, 
but how can we like really reflect on what we already have and feel abundant and feel confident and capable in ourselves, in our situation. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope that I will see you for fall flow on September 23rd to celebrate the autumn equinox or Maybon, whatever you'd like to call it. We will be focusing on abundance once more. We'll also be focusing on themes like balance um, and we'll be setting intentions in kind of a full body way. So through the, the yoga, the movement and the flowing, through breath work and through that release that breath work can bring um, and through meditation and through visualizing and through reflecting and with a community of people who will also be present at the fall flow. I hope to see you there. Um, the tickets or the link to buy the tickets uh, are in my bio and it is sliding scale. So the lowest ticket is only $5 and you select your, yourself on the scale. But thanks for joining and I hope you have a lovely almost weekend. <laughs>